So we face some pretty big challenges in the 21st century and we've created Zero Carbon Britain as a report to get people talking not about 18 month, 2 year political horizons but about a 20 year horizon to think ahead to what sort of Britain we actually need in 2030. We've reached the end of abundant cheap fossil fuels, although fossil fuels aren't about to run out. The rate at which we can produce them and bring them to the world market has actually reached the point where it's, it's about to peak and go into decline, just as huge areas of the world are gearing up to start using fossil fuels. So that's going to create some real tensions internationally and it's going to force the price up. So we need to be changing for fossil fuels for a number of different reasons, not just climate, also energy security. We produced Zero Carbon Britain to help British society understand the big range of options we have. The options are much wider than most people think. It's primarily aimed at policy makers and decision makers, but it's also written for all sectors of society. I can put the report in the hand of the minister, but it's up to society to make the minister act. The report's based around two fundamental processes. The first is powering down the amount of energy we actually use to deliver our well-being by going through the built environment, transport, food, land use, getting rid of our 1950s approach to energy and having a smart new approach. We find that we can reduce energy by about 56% over a two decade period. Then we're also looking at a powering up, thinking about how we can begin to mobilize our indigenous renewable assets. It's a matter of training and gearing up to capitalize on this massive asset. We have about 40% of Europe's renewable energy resources in Britain and British coastal waters. It's an unenviable position and matching that with the transition that we must make from our North Sea oil and gas production is a fabulous opportunity for Britain to restart the economy, to create real long-term jobs. I mean we stand at a time where we realize we can still make the right choices but it means big changes. And the report is very exciting in the conclusions that it's come out with because it's proven the technology says we can, the science says we must, and now it's time to say we will.